Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to add a product using the product beta page, built to simplify complex retail setups like master products and multiple choices. We'll go through each section step by step, so you can set up your products quickly and easily. Let's begin. First, go to the product details section. Start by entering the product name. If you decide to leave the description blank, this section will automatically populate with the previous field. You can also decide if you want to hide the product from the till view by toggling sell on till, which is handy if you're setting up a master product. Then pick a category from the dropdown or create a new one if you need to. You can do the same thing for brand and supplier. If you have more than one supplier, you can add additional suppliers too. Next, enter a barcode or click auto generate to create one. You can also add a product order code and an article code if you have them. And finally, if you don't want this product to earn loyalty points when it's sold, just tick the prevent loyalty points box. Collapse the product details section and we'll move on to pricing. Here you'll add your cost price, that's before tax, select the tax rate, then add the sale price with tax included. If you want to set the price at the time of sale, instead of setting it now, just tick variable price. You can also mark the product as tax exempt if no tax applies, and if there's a container fee, you can add that here too. Now let's look at customer specific pricing. If you offer different pricing for different customers, just choose a customer type from the dropdown and set their specific price. It's as simple as that. Next up is multiple choice products. If the product has different options like sizes or flavors, you can attach a multiple choice group here. And if you want the pop-up to appear at the bottom of the screen instead of full screen, just tick optional pop-up. Under product tags, you can add any tags you want to help organize or search for this product later. Then we move on to till options. Here, you can set the till order. This system works numerically, starting from left to right as shown on screen. You can also choose a button color to make the product stand out. If you want a pop-up note or a multiple choice note to show on the till when someone sells this item, you can add those here. You also have the option to tick scannable only if you only want the product to be scanned. And if there's a limit to how many units someone can buy at once, you can set an order quantity limit. If you're setting up a master product, open the next section. Choose your unit of sale from the drop-down list, then enter the volume of sale. This is perfect for cases, bundles, or multi-packs. If the product you're adding is a child of a master product, head into connect your master products. You can search for the master product by name or filter by category, then select it and tell the system how much of the master is used when this product sells. Next is inventory. Tick track stock if you want the system to manage stock levels for you. Select the stock's location and enter your current, minimum, and maximum stock levels. You can then enter your on order total if you already have stock on order. If you want to get an email when stock gets low, enable email alerts. And don't forget to assign a staff member if you want to track who's responsible for the product. Finally, in purchase order amounts, you can set a minimum order amount and an order increment amount. This makes ordering easier and more consistent. You can also pick a default supplier for future purchase orders. And that's it. You're all set to start adding products like a pro using the beta page. If you found this helpful, check out the other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.